Hello and welcome to another edition of Surviving Scientology on YouTube. My name is Jeffrey Augustine. My wife Karen and I are so glad to be having Peter Neary visit us this week in Los Angeles. We wanted to interview Peter Neary as he's a former Sea Org member, 22 years. Peter is from Hungary. For those of you who were educated at Delphi or worse, the Hubbard School of Administration, Hungary is in Central Europe. In the Scientology Empire, it comes under the Continental Liaison Office Europe. But Peter spent most of his time here in the United States in Scientology Sea Org. And uh, he has a great depth of inside knowledge as to the workings of Sea Org. And he recently left, only about a year and a half ago. What's the latest information you have on the weekly money Scientology spends at Flag on Sierra members? Well, what I remember is that it was increased to around $29 per person per week. So $29 per person per week. Yeah. So that would be 21 meals. That's right. Three meals a day, seven days a week. That works out to $1.38 per That's meal. Right. Peter, do you know that that is less than what the state of California spends for prisoners? I actually didn't know that. Yes, it is. That's interesting. It's less. Well, Scientology uses the Sea Org to get the maximum amount of production for the minimum amount of money possible. That's true. Because you are a coin. Could you tell our listeners, new Scientology watchers, what a coin is in the Sea Org? Well, a coin is basically a person that they use to replace another person out. And uh, you can be sent to from Florida to Australia the next day. And uh, the person in Australia may have to come instead of you to Florida. So do you feel, I mean, surely it's dehumanizing to be considered a coin. Yeah. It's a, a coin is what you put in a vending machine. Yeah, it's like you have no uh, value whatsoever. Other than as a unit of production. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and they're feeding you exactly $1.38 per meal. Yeah. Something that... Uh, and that's actually the highest one because uh, other places around the planet, they w it would be even lower than that. It's, it gets lower? Yeah, like if you come to like Los Angeles or... Africa or I'm pretty sure that it's even less. You needed some medical care. That's right. What was your medical condition? I had a one inch uh, kidney stone that was stuck in my urinal on the way down and uh, on the right side and my right kidney was shut off and they sent me to uh, get a scan and uh, you know they put this radioactive uh, uh, material into the blood and the uh, the result showed that there was still a little bit of life in my right kidney and it was urgent that I, uh, this gets uh, handled because I could have lost my right kidney. So it's a life-threatening condition. How long did it take to get handled? It took one year to get handled. Well, now why did they wait a year? because uh, I was on the ship and I had this condition already when I was in uh, Florida and therefore the ship didn't want to pay for this expense and was waiting for the Florida organization to pay for it and then the Florida organization had so many people that they had to handle medically that uh, there was no money available so uh, that's why it took a year. But, but look at this Rather than work, being concerned as they should be about your health, your life, the ship, the free wind says, no, it's not our problem to pay for. The problems happened at Flag, so we're not paying for it. Yeah. Flag land base has to pay for it. Yeah. You know, that's criminal. Yeah. That well, is something criminal. Also, they operate on the basis that there is no uh, medical insurance. But... Uh, the uh, organization itself, the church itself pays, f like puts uh, aside a fund and that's what they use to pay for medical expenses and if it's not enough, it's not enough, then you don't get any medical attention. 
No, and in general, I learned over, over uh, interviewing people who have been Sea Org executives that they have workman's comp insurance, so they try to fit everything into workman's comp. Or maybe in other places, but at Flag and the Freemans, there's definitely no insurance whatsoever. Okay, so then that that's yeah. here at LA then. Yeah. And um, here locally on Los Angeles radio, <clears throat> on a call-in show, we we have a hospital here in uh, right right across the street from Pack Base called mm -hmm. Kaiser Permanente. Someone called in from Kaiser saying that because they have bunk beds that are three high, mm -hmm. often at night, Sea Org members would roll off the top bunk mm -hmm. under the concrete floor and they were injured, usually a shoulder injury, oh, a head wow. injury. And they have to put this into workman's comp or talk about, you know, um, find a way to either have the taxpayer pay for it or have their workman's comp. Right. Now this is so strange because Scientology is very wealthy, it has billions yeah. of dollars. But it has no money for your kidney stone. Exactly. The other thing you were mentioning is um, I, I had been interviewing people about uniform parts. How hard it is, and that in Scientology is strange language. It just means you have a Sea Org uniform. Yes. And when when some part of it needs to be replaced, like you need a new belt or shoes, how do you get a new belt or shoes? Well, you go to the place and then you put in a request, and then it it can take a long time. But the main point is that uh, they're trying to, they were trying to make this situation better and uh, the way they did it is that they were taking away the money that was supposed to go into the staff's pay. And they were using that for uniform parts. So they were paying for it instead of you getting more pay, yeah. they were just taking part of your pay. So you were paying for your own uniforms, basically, in yes. essence. Yeah.